Hello and welcome to Catalyze Music Academy. My name is Zach Kersetter and today I have another Ableton quick tip for you. Uh, this is a topic that people ask me about all the time, which is how do I synthesize the vowel sounds? How do I make that kind of vocally synthesized sound for my bass lines or whatever kind of sound we will be making? And a lot of people think that this is really complicated, it's really difficult to do, but it turns out it's really easy. And the answer to that question is generally formats. So formant is kind of a weird word. It's not really something you say in everyday conversation. Um, but a format is basically bands of frequencies that are relevant to vowel sounds. And the way you can do this is either with a format wavetable or a format filter. So I want to take a look real quick at how you can use both of those techniques to synthesize your own vocal sounds, uh, starting with Serum. So if we open up Serum here and we take a look at the different folders of wavetables, there is a vowel wavetable area where we have a few different wavetables. And these are kind of designed to sound kind of like different vowel sounds. So if I play a note here, it sounds a little like that. Not terribly interesting, but if I start taking the wavetail position and moving this around, you get kind of these vocally yeah. vowel sounds, depending on which octave you're in, can change it quite a bit. So that's one way to do it. I'm not a huge fan of the vowel settings inside of Serum. I think that they sound okay, but they're not always exactly what I'm looking for. So the other thing we can try out is if we just stick with like a basic you know, square wave or saw wave, something like that. Uh, let's actually jump over to the saw wave. Is over in the filter section, if I go to the miscellaneous section, there's actually three different format filters, one, two, and three. And this is more of what I'm looking for generally if I'm gonna make this kind of sound. So the filter frequency is going to change what that sounds like, get a different octave, as well as the formant control here. Which sounds pretty awesome. So I like that quite a bit. And there's three of them and they all sound a little different. So you can use whatever oscillator you want, run it through a formant filter, and you're pretty much good to go. Other than that, uh, if you're using something like Wavetable, there's actually a bunch of really great format wavetables in here. So for example, this AEIOU one, I actually think sounds a lot better than a lot of these Serum ones. Let's move that up an octave. Sounds a little bit more like Valley, which I like quite a bit. Uh, unfortunately, there are no format filters here. So you're just stuck with your regular low pass, high pass, band pass kind of filters. So if I want format filters inside of Live, there's only two places to do that. The first of which is inside of Analog. So if I have just uh, again a, a saw wave here in Analog, if I go to my filters, I have my basic filter types, and then I also have two format filters down here. So if I'm using this format filter, gets that nice kind of vocally sound, and then the resonance control here becomes really important. That's actually how you're going to be getting the vowel sounds. Sounds pretty awesome. Uh, so this is one of the only places inside of Live that has a built-in formant filter, which is pretty awesome. The other place that has a built-in formant filter is going to be Tension. So Tension, uh, a lot of people forget about this as a device. It's kind of designed for more kind of string sounds. Sounds kind of like that. But if you go into the Filter Global section here, and then you check this out, we have all the exact same filter options we did inside of analog. So I can include a format filter and it has the filter frequency and the resonance. And you can also use this really cool like XY controller to change what you're getting. Generally not what I'm going for, what I'm going for this kind of sound, but it's another option that's there. A lot of people just don't even know that uh, tension can do this, which is pretty cool. Uh, so that's it. That's how you can start using formants, either format wavetables. Make sure you add a little bit of envelope or LFO to the wavetable position to get that vowel motion or that vowel movement, uh, or use a format filter, which you can automate either the resonance or the cutoff to create different vowel sounds. So that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed watching that. If you did, please subscribe to the channel. In addition, if you'd like to check out more of what we do at Catalyze Academy, including monthly free online workshops, please check out catalyzemusicacademy.com for more info about any upcoming workshops or other activities, classes, workshops, things we're going to be doing uh, in the near future. So again, thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you soon.